You know, and this is one of the primary reasons why I always tell people that religion has done nothing but separate the human family. And it really doesn't matter if you are a Muslim, it doesn't matter if you're a Christian, it doesn't matter if you're Jehovah's Witness or anything else. If you do not understand what it means to be a human being, you won't be able to be that Muslim. You will not be able to be that Christian and you will not be able to be to be that Jehovah's Witness. Because if you don't understand or know how to be a human being, you will not be able to be this Christ-like status. You will not be able to um, fulfill the meaning of a Muslim, which is one who submits to do the will of God. You, you have to be a human being to um, fulfill all of those things. You will not be able to be a witness of Jehovah God unless you understand what it means to be a human being. So if you don't understand what it means to be a human being, then you won't be able to communicate with people effectively based upon your religious teachings and the religious principles within those teachings. The quintessence of being a human being is to be humane. You know, to be humane, a humanitarian, a, a, um, a decent person, all of those things apply to being a human being. And it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what you call yourself. It don't matter what you call yourself. It doesn't matter if you call yourself a Christian, a Muslim or whatever. If you don't know how to treat people, none of that means anything. What's the point of you calling yourself a, a Muslim, a Christian, or whatever? Whatever you wanna call yourself, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And how are you gonna help build your institution with with people coming down there? If every time you come down, if, if every time they make their presence known, that you're down there trying to um, disrespect people because you don't have any respect for yourself. I mean, it's, it's, it's the same madness that I've dealt with not too long ago when I was dealing with a brother who's concerned about who's the real Jews and who's the fake Jews. And and there um, he was he was sitting at a table with this um, young brother and, and they're going back and forth with with um, information about the Jewish calendar and, and all of this information and everybody is going at it. And the only thing that's cultivating between the the two of them and everyone else present at the table is a whole bunch of hate. Who gives a damn? Who's the real Jews and who's the fake Jews? Who cares? And if you're going back and forth with one another behind information, I'm right. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm right. So in the process of this activity going on, what is cultivating in the mind and heart towards one another? Hatred. That's all that's happening. And you want to know why? Because what you're doing is very inhumane because you're not putting forth an effort to try to communicate with one another. And that is the religious experience. And it has always been the religious experience you know i said previously um in my um, video that i was going to be going down there but i really don't see no 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 point in doing it you know because um what's the point you know i mean after, after 35 years things are still the same you know and you know what's what's the point What's the point? You know, I, I previously dealt with a, um, a couple of brothers and um, I had made up my mind that I was just going to leave religious people and their religious be, you know. But as I was saying, if you don't understand what it means to be a human being, if you don't understand what it means in essence, in its essence to be a human being, then it really doesn't matter what you call yourself, because whether it's Yeshua 
through your Bible, whether it's Muhammad, through your Quran, whether it's Buddha, through um, their, their, their philosophy of life, you're not going to be able to accomplish anything that those books imply to you unless you understand what it means to be a human being. And the only way that you're going to understand exactly what it means to, to, to be a human being is your treatment of other human beings. It's called humanity. It's called being a humane. It's called being a humanitarian. Unless you get that in check, what you say you serve doesn't mean anything. Because in your attacking um, one another of, of, of being hypocrites, what is that doing to you while you're doing that? That's pulling you away and outside of you being this righteous Muslim, Christian, or what, whatever the case may be. While you're in the process of expressing yourself, while you're in the moment process or whatever the hell you want to call it, while you're in the moment expressing yourself towards someone attacking them, slandering them yeah because the quran speaks against slander as well okay it says in the hadith i'm reading it right here yeah i'm reading it yeah i'm reading it islam is a religion of peace love and compassion which teaches us that we should respect the honor reputation and privacy of others lies suspicion backbiting slander and gossip are destructive major sins that go against what islam stands for and so enmity and discord among muslims now now people may say well it's talking about showing discord among muslims now you may perceive that in a um group sense a religious sense and and therefore a cultist um sense but when you go against that, it's also talking about a person who calls himself a Muslim. It also talks about their approach to the rest of people who are in humanity, who are not deemed as Muslims. So it's it's not just a a a in-house thing. You know, this is it all boils down to you understanding the essence of what it means to be a human being. You're not going to get away with humanity. You're not going to get away with that, from that. That's that's my point. I need to calm down because I'm kind of irritated right now because I'm still um I'm still dealing with Sister Abel Muhammad's death and um um I guess I'll, I'll, I'll eventually, um, I'll eventually be, um, at peace with that. But right now I'm, I'm just not, I'm not at peace with her death. You know, I'm just not at peace with that, you know, and I'm just, I'm just being honest. And, um, whether you think I should be, doesn't mean shit to me. It, it, it really doesn't, it really doesn't. But, um, when it comes to the point to where you, you can't, um, pay your respects along with um, others who actually knew her because there's always some nonsense going on from this one particular person that it's only a, you know it's only a confirmation that you should just re remain to yourself and pay your respects from a distance you know and, and just pay your respects from a distance you know I mean it's very easy to call someone a hypocrite in doing so what are you becoming in the assertion so? I mean, what's happening to you while you're in this activity or while you're attacking this person, while you're whispering in other people's ears, what's happening to you as a Muslim? What's happening to you as a Muslim? Have you become the evil of which you claim the hypocrite is? I mean, if so, then who is in fact the hypocrite? You know who who is in fact the hypocrite you know it's 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 not me you know um brother david i have a lot of love inside and it's just so happened that unfortunately i've, I've come in contact with a whole lot of um people in the 
in the religious community who haven't clearly understood the the um the fundamentals of what they call themselves involved in in reference to um asserting that they are this or that you know whether it be christian or whether it be um islamic or whatever you know so um like i say um i was very disappointed in the uh, the whole thing but um as i said i'm i'm just going to continue to um do what i can for the community and um it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter you know it really doesn't matter so um i'm just going to cut this short because um i have some very important issues that i have to um get involved in as you know um from another video i tend to um the late sunny listens grave out here at um davis funeral home so usually whenever i'm off i usually go by there and um i um check on his resting place to make sure it's clean and it's proper you know because i've been dealing with a lot of people coming by um stealing you know it's like the boss on the um grave site i even had some um um military veterans having a problem with with um the american flag being on there and um it's you know all of this this um information you know whether it's religious or political it doesn't do anything but separate humanity and I always keep saying that you know I I think that if people would understand that regardless of what religion you um choose and I'm going to I'm I'm never going to back up on this if you don't know how to be a human being a decent person if you don't know um how to accomplish those things it really doesn't matter what you call yourself it really doesn't matter what you call yourself you know it really doesn't matter so um with that being said i'm not going to go on a tangent because i don't think that this is the um this is a right time for um me to really get deep into any subjects right now because like i said um i'm still dealing with sister ava muhammad's um passing and um i just don't feel good about it you know um even though we have you know many um videos with her teachings you know it 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 just seems like um when a powerful force leaves the planet and it goes into another state of of being we um we grieve because we have a misunderstanding her flesh is gone but the impact that she made upon all of us whether you're christian muslim or whatever how whatever you choose we have a um i just think we 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 need to understand that um the importance of um understanding that once a person leaves the flesh we have to get to know them in another sense you know i i tell a lot of friends who um lose their loved ones that um that once the flesh the organism stops functioning we have to understand that we have to get to know them in another form and uh, you know we we have to understand that when that sun rises and when it shines that's that's them right there you know because they even though their um organism is no longer functioning the spirit 
and the very essence of that person goes back to the creator and it goes back to being a part of all what 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 gives life and power to all that is living you know so it's it's like we have to remember including myself that um if we really want to continue to spend time with those people our loved ones and, and people who we looked up to and people who we looked um, to for guidance and, and understanding due to the fact that they've went back to what created them to become back one with everything that gives us life and power like the sun and the rain and, and including the wind she's back to being a part of all of those things and so you know i uh, have to remember that if i want to spend time with sister ava muhammad or my great grandmother or my grandfather all i have to do is get up early and watch the sunrise and understand that when the wind is blowing up against my organism that sister Ava Muhammad my grandfather my great grandmother and all of those people who who I come to love that's where they are they they reside in everything that is bearing life and power and movement you know so um as human beings we we have to go through that detachment process when it comes to um, our attachment to the flesh and our dependency on these people remaining here with us you know as a part of this living experience and so um we just have to re remind ourselves of that fact but um as young brothers going into the nation of islam it is very important that you understand what it means when um, Elijah Muhammad had said in his last speech in 1975, I believe it was his last speech. If you look at that, the Savior's Day, his last speech when he, he had his sunglasses on and everything, there's a part in there when he was basically telling you how you should treat people when they come to the mosque you know when he says good morning brother come on in brother come on in brother you know he, he was he was explaining to you how you should treat people when they come to the mosque treat them with love and compassion you know and um not paranoia you know, oh, I think he's a government agent, you know, because there there was an instance when um when I was down there, I just want to mention this right quick. We was um having a study class and the subject uh a subject had went around the um gathering and right when I was next to give my point of view. Brother Joe just hurried up and ended the meeting. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're out of here. You know, and so I'm Google the fool. I can't see these things. You know, and so when you're dealing with that type of ignorance, you know, and it's ignorant to you because you haven't said or did anything to cause this person to think that you are such a threat. But as I said earlier while you're acting like this what are you becoming are you are you still this muslim that you um claim to be what are you becoming in the way that you're treating me or anyone else so whether you're muslim whether you're christian whatever your behavior is what reveals what you claim to believe it's your behavior 
towards humanity, which is me and you. How are you treating me? How are you treating yourself in the way that you're treating me? However, how am I treating myself by continuing to choose to deal with things like that? It's an abuse of myself. And so when I came out of meditation, what the creator and the universe gave me is that what you need to do is just move forward, but move forward in love. Don't hold any animosity because holding animosity is, is nothing but a form of violence to one's own self. This is one of the reasons why letting go and moving forward is so essential. And I say all of this where the young brothers who come into the mosque understand that it doesn't matter what you call yourself. It doesn't matter how much studying you're doing. None of that matters if you don't know how to treat other human beings. I would advise or and encourage a lot of young brothers coming into the nation men who are already in the nation and and um other people who just may have to observe elijah the, the most honorable elijah muhammad's um savior's day speech of 1975. please observe that please observe that and observe that closely and understand what he was basically implying on how you should treat people who come down there. Not in this cultanistic way, well, he ain't Muslim like us, so, you know, then you're not a Muslim, you're part of a cult. You're part of a cult. Because the uh, world of Islam already has problems. Uh -huh, everyone takes his pilgrimage to Mecca to pretend that we are all Muslims. You know, you go down there as Nation of Islam, Hanabi, Hanbali, Shiite, all, all these different sects, and you pretend that you are one nation of Muslims for one week. And the Mecca effect is supposed to bring the uh, world of Islam together in one brotherhood as it was when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was with us. However, after this one week of practice, you leave Mecca. You go back to being Nation of Islam. You go back to being Hanafi, uh, Hanbali and Hanafi and all of those different sects. If it's just a practice with you, and if you intend to go back to where you were, what's the point of even going? If you're not going to be a human being the way that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was trying to get you to understand of how to be one who submits to do the will of Allah, that's not a religious implication. It is a humanitarian implication. That's what it means. So with that being said, I don't want to drag this because like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit wounded right now. So let's just get back to understanding exactly what it means to be a human being. And once you understand that, then you're able to be that Muslim. Then you're able to be that disciple of Christ. You know, you're able to be those things. So with that being said, um, Brother Davis is just gonna check out, just say peace. You know, y'all y'all have a good day. And um, rest in peace to save Muhammad. Rest in peace.